Hey guys, I'm gonna be going over some of my top pros and cons for delivering with Uber Eats. Now, if you are one of my OGs and you have anything to add, maybe I missed something, do leave a comment down below. So the first one, I'm gonna start with the pros, um, but the first one I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree to, and that is the freedom that you get. You can drive when you want. There's no boss telling you what you can and cannot do. You're in control of your own schedule you're in control of the orders that you want to accept you're in control of the areas that you want to go into maybe there's a part of town that you don't want to drive in you do not have to go there or maybe there's a restaurant you don't want to pick up from you do not have to accept an order from there you get a lot of freedom to make your own decisions with no boss so that is a major pro for me which brings me into the next pro you do not have to schedule with uber eats you can drive whenever you want whenever it works best for you you just tap the little go button and on you go of course there has to be orders out there reasonable orders for you to make some money but you have the freedom to hop on when you want with no schedule but you can make your own schedule by saying hey I just want to deliver on the evenings or maybe I just want to deliver on the weekends but you do not need to schedule with Uber Eats you can drive when you want maybe Friday night you had plans and those plans fell through and you're like you know what let me go out there and make a little extra money you just hit the go button and off you go and you can go out there and make money when it works best for you now another really big pro is you can cash out after you're done delivering for the day the evening or whatever it is up to five times a day now there is a small fee that you have to pay to do an instant cash out uh, but again it's a small fee and so if you go out there and you make a quick $50 and you're like I want to go take myself out to dinner or maybe you're gonna go to a concert for the night and you want that extra $50 you can cash out which is super awesome who wouldn't want to have that capability to cash out especially after you're done delivering for the evening well you have it it's super nice and super convenient again for a very small fee now the other thing is a pro for me is not having to deal with passengers if you're somebody like me that doesn't want anybody in my car one for my safety I'm a female I just don't feel comfortable having anybody in my car so uber eats gives me the opportunity to make money without having any passengers in my car the only thing that I'm gonna have in my car is food and that's how I'm gonna make my extra money so that's a definite pro for me now another pro is once you're approved you can get started right away which is nice so if you got approved let's say today um, you could go out there right then and there and start driving and earning money which is super super nice so those are some of my pros if you have any to add do let me know let's get into the cons so con number one can you guys guess I'm sure a lot of you might be thinking the same thing um, it does upset a lot of people including myself when it happens I've had it happen once to me and that is tip baiting so let's say for example let me just tell you my story if you haven't heard it I remember it like yesterday because when it happens to you it's like the worst feeling you're like you know I feel like I did everything right I can't see where I went wrong and it was a really simple order so it was at a pizza place a take and bake pizza it was a delivery to an apartment like I said I remember it like it was yesterday it was an offer for ten dollars so I took the offer it did have a tip on it super super low miles delivered the order now after an hour the customer can either increase reduce or take away their tip well this particular customer took away their tip now it's called tip baiting because some customers will put a tip out there get their order faster and then take away their tip this particular situation I have no idea what the issue was it was a simple take and bake pizza it was at an apartment complex I took the picture with the apartment number as I always do as proof that I dropped it off at the right location did everything right and after an hour the customer had taken 
taken back the tip so I was only paid a couple of dollars which is super super disappointing because I did everything right um, how I usually do it's just not fair it's just not right I do not like tip baiting again it's only happened to me one time um, if you guys have had tip baiting happen to you do let me know um, it hasn't happened a lot um, just that one time but it's still you know it hurts it hurts especially when you did everything right now the second con would be the inconsistencies of the orders some days are really really good and some days are really really bad some days are so so it comes with the territory um, a lot of you guys I'm sure can agree that have been driving for a while prior to the pandemic during the pandemic it was a lot lot busier it definitely has slowed down a lot after the pandemic now there is still orders you can still make money um, but things definitely change it comes with the territory you just gotta adapt there is still money out there to make you just gotta find the right days the right hours that work best for you as well as have the best orders and for me that's typically the evenings and the weekends Friday through Sunday which tend to have better paying orders at least for me now you can make money on other days but it might be a little bit slower now my next con would be the wear and tear on your vehicle you are paying for your gas out of your pocket maintenance comes out of your pocket repairs come out of your pocket if you eventually need new tires that comes out of your pocket as well so that is another con um, with uber eats you do have to drive your own vehicle and with that you're gonna have wear and tear now another con would be the low paying offers that come in sometimes you're gonna see two dollar offers three dollar offers four dollar offers you do not have to take Take them a lot of new drivers think that they have to take them because they're gonna get deactivated that is not the case at all I've said it many many times if that was the case I would have been deactivated a very very long time ago you only want to take orders that are reasonable for you that pay you for your time so always keep that in mind again maybe you don't want to go to a certain area because it's not safe you do not have to take an offer um, that's unreasonable or takes you to an unsafe area now my other con is and it's kind of bunched together with a bunch of little things is sometimes you have wait times at restaurants you go there the food's not ready sometimes they're going to tell you it's a 15 20 minute wait sometimes you have difficulty with parking at a restaurant you might have to walk a ways or maybe you have difficulty finding parking at an apartment complex i usually will pull up on the side of the curb as long as i'm like right in front of the apartment turn on my hazards run up there get the order dropped off you kind of want to be as efficient as possible when you run into these issues but if you're downtown in a city somewhere and you're having parking issues you probably don't want to park on a curb where you're not supposed to turn on your hazards um, because my husband's gotten a parking ticket doing that before in a no parking zone and I've heard of others doing that so you got to be careful but you do want to be mindful of where you're parking now another con would be dealing with gate codes or codes to get an apartment those things are gonna happen it comes with the territory over time you figure out how to deal with those issues a lot better but it comes with the territory I have my frustrating days whether it's an apartment building not being able to get in or having trouble getting a hold of a customer cuz you know I need to get a hold of them for something maybe I need to get into their building their codes not working or whatever it is it comes with the territory but the nice thing is you have the freedom to come out here and make Make money when you want to now if you're a new driver or you're thinking about driving there is one thing that you definitely want to be sure that you are doing and that is tracking your miles as this is a big tax deduction if you're not doing this already there is an app called solo and this app is made for us gig workers it will help you track your miles it will help you track your earnings it'll also give
give you your estimated taxes for federal and state, which is super nice when it comes to tax season. There's also places for you to input, you know, if you bought a phone holder for your car to do deliveries or a hot bag, those things are write-offs. You want to make sure you keep track of those things. There is a free trial with Solo by using my link, which is in the description. If you use my link, you'll also get a $10 sign-up bonus, which is super nice, but it has a ton of features for us gig workers. Definitely worth checking out. Again, the link will be down in the description. If I missed anything on my pros and cons list, do leave a comment. Always appreciate you guys watching. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, do give the video a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.